We were talking about Andy Reid saying he had a cheeseburger and went to bed. That's how he was asked yesterday how he celebrated the win in the AFC Championship game. I got a cheeseburger and went to bed. And we talked about this on the television-only segment. I want to bring it to the radio audience because I love them just as much. Um, I said medium rare, right? That's how I order my burger. You said, Brockman, you like yours medium. Uh, medium on the burger. Because you figure that it's going to be somewhat undercooked, so right. you might as well order it. Order up a little bit. Order up. For the burger. Right. Yeah. And I said, I'll do medium rare, and if it comes too rare, I'll send it back. Ooh. Which you guys started creating a big stink over that. Yeah. That it, it that I, I just absolutely ruined well, the entire universe by saying, look, hey, would you mind send it just for, I, I, I rarely do it. But if it is just bleeding and it's too rare and I'm concerned that it's not cooked enough, do me. would you mind back in the oven for two more minutes, pa back on the, the griddle for two more minutes, whatever? What's wrong with that? That is, um, a no -no. I mean, look, you're, it's a no-no. No -no. Why kinda, is it a no-no? You're putting your food's fate back in the person who created it, and they thought it was perfect when it came out. How do, they know, how do you know they thought it was perfect? Because they plated it. Maybe they, they, they didn't play it. it. Maybe they, they didn't play it. They made it. They played they it. it. They crafted yep. it. And you're saying, uh, sir, well, eh, do a good job. Or do it better. Or and, better. And they're like, what? What? Not yeah. do it better. <laughs> do it more to the way that I, I like it. Uh, you know, it's all oh, it's all yeah. apples and oranges to use a, a metaphor. You're in a gray it's all area when you send it back. Yeah, that's tough, man. You, you know, hold on a second. So you are saying in your area, you both worked we in both, the in the service industry. No, I, I, yeah. have oh, you personally? Oh, I actually did. Actually, I, yeah. I mean, for you summer. Did. So you've you've witnessed a chef being so no, I've never witnessed upset. I, I mean, I I worked at a like that they beach put a little special spot and a special sauce on it by handing it back. For no, real? but I've heard stories. Of people doing that. Ryan Reynolds did a whole movie about it. <laughs> is it so wrong to send Brad something Fight back? Club? Is it so wrong to send something back to the kitchen saying, excuse me? I just think. Can you please? Not like, I'm not saying I want to order something else and then suddenly or no. the way that you've made it is not palatable. So I don't want it anymore. I'm saying I just would like, you know, tighten the bolts a little bit. I, I just think it's a little disrespectful. Yeah. No, it's not. How is it disrespectful? Because you're saying I didn't like the way you created this. I, I trusted you when I ordered it, and then now it came out, and I'm like, eh, do it better. Do it better. Uh, it rubs me the wrong is way. The kitchen, is the kitchen that sensitive? Oh, yeah. Well, I remember it's a Caddyshack. Yeah. Oh, my God. God. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Caddyshack. I was just going to play that, actually. Is the metric by which we're measuring dog this. Food. Ooh, dog food? Well, I mean, I'm not saying it's dog I food. I know. I'm just saying but, eh, if it comes out, just eat it. A subject near and dear to my heart, burgers. I can't even, I was trying to calculate how many I might have had in my lifetime. It must be thousands. And if you've been to Madison, State Street Brats used to be the Brat House when I was there. And uh, used to get two double, uh, two cheeseburgers, two fries, two Cokes. That explains Ooh. my figure as it is, my, my physique. But anyway, yes, I don't know what's wrong with the pansies on your team there, but man up, guys. I mean, it's no different. If you order it medium well and you get it medium rare, that's like ordering a cheeseburger and getting a hot dog. You, it, if you do it politely, yes. you're the customer. You're that's not right. paying three dollars anymore. Most of the time, it's probably fifteen bucks, which I'm happy to do uh just to show you my dedication i'm in la a lot and uh three double doubles uh protein style uh is what i order <laughs> two eat, i eat now and one when i get a little hungry because i hate standing in line for them but uh i know burgers i know them intimately they're an important <laughs> part of like my that. life they have been they always will be uh doctors beware i don't care what you say about red meat it's very important to me and I know burgers. Now, and let me ask you this. I let me yes. ask you this question, Jeff. If for your love of burgers, would yeah. you accept an invitation to a night where you go to a great burger place, but you cannot order your own burger? It's a oh. fantasy burger draft where you must <laughs> accept the burger that you have been drafted into getting. Would you accept a night like that and just try a burger that you might not actually want to spend your time? 
in a burger place, but it is totally random, the burger that you get? Yes or no? Would you handle that? Uh, yes, depending on the place. If I have respect for the place, I will. I've tried to be a little more open-minded. However, one of my close friends tried to fool me with one of these impossible burgers, which will be impossible for me to eat any longer. They are... No, like don't call them a burger. They're not a burger. They're an impossible something. Jeff in Milwaukee, everybody. Jeff, thanks for the call, man. Great call, Jeff. That was great. Mike in Vegas. What's up, Mike? Hey, Rich. How's it going? How are you, sir? I'm doing pretty good. My comment on the burger situation is for your two partners back there in the back. Um if you order something, say you order it medium, yep. and then it comes out and it is black as the chair that I'm sitting on, are you still not going to send it back? Are you going to sit there and eat it and just take it in because you ordered it that way and you don't want to possibly offend somebody? That's my question. Thank you, Mike. You have an answer for Mike in Vegas? I'm going to never yeah, go to that place ever again. Because that's wrong. It, you ordered it medium. It came Charbroiled, right? That's different. We're saying if we prepared it, we thought in the medium. But rare they way. thought they thought that they prepared it the right no. way. If, so if someone if burns a thing and it was supposed to be medium, you're an idiot. Sorry. Then you're. Yeah, no one's mistaking. Well, no, one's, yeah. no one's seeing medium on the sheet and thinking, <laughs> oh, "Well done, well done." No. <laughs> it's just an undercooked situation. <laughs> to me, it's the same thing. It's like you got it the way you didn't want it, so you need to get a totally new one. I didn't weigh the one. It, I would understand if I said, hey, this just needs to be cooked a little bit longer. And instead of me saying that, I want an entirely new burger. Now I would understand the, the kitchen to be very upset, where I could just put it in for two minutes. Why do I have to cook the thing from scratch? Now I understand. Now that would be something that creates more of an issue for them than necessary. The fact that it returns, period, is viewed as something that's created is more than necessary to me is a problem yeah, in a service industry this scenario. This is more the wrong order, I think, we're talking about also, well, Rich. Uh, I mean... If it's wrong. So what you guys are telling me, not you, Rich, but the other guys, is yes. what you're telling me is let's say you received some, some chicken that was undercooked. You're telling me that you're not going to send back undercooked chicken and you would just go ahead and eat it and risk salmonella? Just so that you can have the, the pride in saying, well, I'm not one of those people that sends food back. Great point. It, it, Great point. It, the same thing it, same thing with a burger, right? It, I mean, same thing. No one is supposed to consume undercooked meat. Why would you expose your body to that? And as the last caller said, restaurants want to know if there's something that was not done to their specifications or to the specification of the order. You're supposed to let them know that's a training opportunity. So you're supposed to send the food back. And as you said, Rich, yes. you don't have to be rude about it. No. Just simply, Thank you. It, it, it's undercooked or it's not to the specifications. Could you please just put it on the grill for a few minutes more, mm -hmm. let it get a little more done? Well done, Domenica. Thank you for the call. To the burger situation, got to uh, agree with uh, Chris and Mike. Um, it happens, happens quite often, actually. Which is what? Well, I return yeah. a burger. I return, Ted, Ted, you're a chef. You're a chef. Yep. You, you have personally seen somebody return a burger or food because it is not cooked to specifications, and it is not cooked to specifications, and a somebody in a kitchen messes with the food before they send it back out. Not, I'm not saying every time, but it just depends on what's going on with the person that's cooking it. You know, they might be in a bad mood that day, something going on in personal life. I see them drop it. You know, the from under cheese happens, you know, it, you know. From it happens under it. cheese happens. Yes, from under cheese. No, Ted. <laughs> from <laughs> under cheese yes. is not an appropriate cheese. The cheese <laughs> is not appropriate from under cheese. It, 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 it's not as bad as, as, you know, Fight Club, but it does happen, Rich. For more of The Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download The Rich Eisen Show app.